right, man. Rolando Roly Romero is saying that he got to fight O'Harry Davies first. So I guess they couldn't get O'Harry Davies to step aside. And then he going to take on um, Ryan Garcia as the plan. So you probably can expect Ryan Garcia to return in a very soft touch at 140. That's been the majority of his career has been soft touches. Um you know, have been soft touches at 140 pounds. So, um, I, I mean, throughout his career. So, other than fighting Tank, which was a, a money grab, and we all know that. So, you know, I think Roley might lose to Harry Davies, uh, to be honest. Uh, that ain't no easy fight for him because he really lost. A lot of people really feel like he was on his way to losing to Ishmael Barros. To begin with, so that ain't no easy uh victory. It's never easy with Roley. Yeah, or Harry Davies got knocked out by Josh Taylor, but that's when Josh Taylor was on fire. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, uh, so I'm not sure uh if you know I'm not 100 percent sure Roley can beat or Harry Davies or Harry Davies is solid. Mayweather know him. Remember, he ran up on Mayweather in the UK talking all that joint, all that stuff or whatever. So, um, but, uh, yeah, it ain't no foregone conclusion, bro. And I'm guessing, like, he the real, uh, I'm guessing he the real uh, WBA champion because I think they did end up suspending, uh, they did end up suspending, uh, They did end up suspending uh they did end up suspending uh, uh Alberto Puello, I believe, in Nevada, if my memory serves me correctly. Um so uh you know, so you know that is what it is. But I mean I think he might lose to Harry Davis, but check out the box news playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So um Rolando Roley Romero says he's fighting or Harry Davies next. He says that an irritable Rolando Roley Romero said he'll be making his first defense against the mandatory or Harry Davies, who is foiling his plans to fight Ryan Garcia in the lucrative pay-per-view level fight. So my thing is this, dude. All right, man. Uh, I mean, they couldn't get him to step aside. He won his shot. I mean, do you really want to fight Ryan coming off a loss? It's the million dollar question. You might as well let Ryan get a tune up in, look good, get some hype behind him. Shit, he might lose the tune up too, though, because he ain't shit. I keep telling you all that. But Roley ain't shit neither, because I really can really lose this fight as well, too. You know, um, and I keep telling you all Roley could lose this fight um versus harry davies but you know he ain't good at all he said or oh, harry davies wants to be a fun sponge so we're gonna have to deal with the b uh he's ugly as f and nobody knows who the f he is let let's f his butt up and then ryan garcia next said roley to fight hype who now acknowledges that he'd be forced to defend his wba tight uh well to light well to weight title against his mandatory or harry davies um so, I mean, shit, I mean, tell us something we don't know. You know, tell us something we don't know. You know, and um, and yeah, he's going to have to defend his title versus O'Harry Davies. And he, gonna, he might fuck around and lose that fight. He may lose that fight. He may lose that fight, to be honest. You know, he just damn near lost to an old man. He damn near lost to an old man. So, I mean, it is, I mean, like I said, it is what it is. Um, I watch it because Roley is entertaining. He that bad that he is entertaining. Um, but yeah, that that's that's a fight that can totally go the other way. It totally can go the other way. And I'm dead serious. You know. 
you know, he dead serious. Nobody take Roly serious. And just let you know, if Roly can get a world title out here, you can do it too. <laughs> and your dreams are possible. Dude is terrible. That dude was on his way to get knocked out by Ishmael Barros. And then, you know, at the end of the day, man, the referee came in and saved him. Don't tell me nothing about corruption and robberies don't exist and all this bull job don't exist in the sport of boxing. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me. Because it really do. You know, and Ryan, they both susceptible to losing their next fight, him and Ryan. That's why they wanted to make it. You know. You know. They are all BS. You know. On all BS. But it's going to actually be an entertaining fight on Derry Havis can talk some shit. Talk some shit. You know, he can talk some shit. So it's going to be an entertaining fight. I, I think I might go with O'Harry Davies. I really do. But, you know, Roley got that one hit a quitter, and that would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, yeah, it would be interesting. It'd be uh it'd be interesting. It will be interesting for sure. You know, um it will uh be interesting. So, but yeah, in, in my humble opinion, I really do think that uh I really do think O'Harry Davies a lot a live dog dog in this fight. So, um, you know, but it ain't going to be easy. And I'm surprised they just didn't try to, you know, make, you know, I will, if they did the tank rematch with O'Harry Davies and, you know, I mean, with, uh, with Roley and then let O'Harry Davies fight Ryan Garcia, you know, I think O'Harry Davies wanted his, uh, I think O'Harry Davies just wanted his title shot, which he didn't deserve, by the way, and neither did Roley. So I think that's, quite frankly irrelevant you know what i'm saying that's quite frankly irrelevant so um so two dudes who didn't deserve a title shot two dudes that probably failed to crack the top 10 in the 140 pound division you know they get to go out here and scrap for a belt you know and he really wanted to fight ryan garcia you know but it is what it is, but if you ain't seen no Harry Davies, hold on. I mean, he's absolutely done nothing to deserve a title shot. As far as the list of names that I see, I see on this list, he's absolutely done nothing. Like these dudes can literally stay in the UK or not ever fight outside their country and get opportunities is wild to me. Come on. He had a majority decision over the dude, uh, Regis Progress, knocked out in no time, that Tyrone McKinnon guy. You know, he's literally for nobody. He lost to Jack Catterall, 12-round decision. He beat Miguel Vasquez. He got to be 100 years old by now. So he's literally fought nobody but Josh Taylor and Jack Catterall. He lost both of those fights. No, he called himself two tanks. So Roley be fighting tank again. He's literally fought nobody. And this is the problem with sanctioning about bodies. How two, two of the uh, bottom feeders of the division are, get to fight for a title. They just don't add up to me, bro. They get to line up for a title is a, is a joke. It's a, it's a real life joke. It's a, it's a real life joke. It's a real, it's a real life joke, bro. You know, but hey, this is this is boxing. Y'all want to know why boxing messed up? The fans sit here and cap for fighters. The sanction of belt bodies don't do their jobs. You know what I'm saying? None of that. So, 
I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, you know, let me know what your girls and guys think in the comment section. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.